Hi, welcome to Take a Break, Take a Breath for Wednesday, January 27th. I'm Rick Boyer, the pastor of Prospect Presbyterian Church, and Take a Break, Take a Breath is an invitation for you to pause in your day and to breathe and center yourself in God who made you and loves you and calls you by name. God knows you better than you know yourself. Each take a break, take a breath time, we've been looking at a different psalm, and we are up to Psalm 129. Psalm 129 is one of the songs of ascent that it is said they sang as they walked on the pilgrimage to Jerusalem. In this particular one, it's a song of lament, of crying out, and the verse that I want to focus on is, Often have they attacked me from my youth yet they have not prevailed against me. There is one view that the psalm could be seen as Jerusalem personified, in this case Zion personified, and speaking for herself, as the, there is this image of long furrows being plowed down the back of the person who is speaking. So it could be they're speaking for Zion. And there is this sense that it is only God's grace that has allowed them to continue to exist. So if you haven't already done so, I invite you to go to a quiet place in your house and to close the door if the room has a door and to settle into a comfortable chair and feel the support and strength of that chair. Feel it under the back of your legs and on your back and under your arms, if it has arms. Allow yourself to be comfortable and relaxed. Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. And as you breathe in, breathe in the breath of God. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that separates you from God. As you breathe in, breathe in the breath of life. And as you breathe out, breathe out all that does not give you life. Breathe in your, uh, God's peace and breathe out your worries and your anxieties and your fears. Continue to breathe deeply and slowly and allow the peace of God to spread in Imagine it like a shower of water. The peace of God falls on your head. And as it falls on your head, your mind is calmed and peaceful. And all the things that have been racing around in your head are slowed and stilled. Imagine that as the peace of God washes down over your face, it brings relaxation to the muscles in your face and your jaw, and perhaps you even begin to smile. Imagine that it, as it washes down over your neck, the peace of God brings relaxation to your neck and releases the tensions that might be there, and perhaps even eases a headache if you have a tension headache. And as it rolls down over your shoulders and down your arms to the tips of your fingers, the muscles in your shoulders relax. And if they've been hunched up, that, that it drops. And if your hands have been closed, they're opened, maybe turn palms up to receive God's grace and peace. And as the peace of, peace of God washes down over your chest, your breathing is slow and steady and deep, and your heart rate is calmed. And as it washes down over your stomach, it brings calm and peace to your stomach. And if your stomach has been upset and jittery, it is relaxed and calm. As it washes down your back, the muscles in your back relax and all of the th things that you've been holding on to, all of those tensions that we bury in our back melt away. And it washes down over your hips and your thighs and your knees and your 
calves and your ankles and your feet. And those muscles relax. You are washed in the peace and presence of God. Now in your mind's eye, go to a comfortable room. And there in that room are a couple of chairs close together so that two people could talk. You sit in one of the chairs and a door on the other end of the room opens and in walks Jesus. He comes and sits in the other chair and smiles at you, calls you by name. He looks into your eyes and he asks, what would you like to talk about today? What is on your mind? What things are going on that you feel like you've been wrestling with since your youth? Lay them out before me and let's talk. And so in the quiet of the next few moments, the two of you talk and you lay those things out and you listen for Jesus' response. I'll be quiet. And then the time comes for the conversation to end. And if it hasn't been long enough, just hit pause. And the two of you say goodbye in whatever way is appropriate. And Jesus, if he's not already standing, stands and walks toward that door that he came in. And he closes the door as he goes out. Then in your mind's eye, let this image fade away and bring yourself back to the room where you are. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Well, let's take a break, take a breath for Wednesday, January 27th. If you have feedback for me, or if you'd like to talk or pray with me, send an email to rick at prospectchurch.org.